I didn't start out as an underwater photographer, other than just a hobbyist kind of playing around with it. This started off just helping some friends, you know, a few years back film corals off a of little Cayman Islands at night. And I thought I would just go help shoot some corals, that would be the end of it. I never thought we'd start looking at fluorescence in fish. So our goal is to find out how widespread biofluorescence is in different fish groups. Most of the fish we're after are the little things that are hiding in the crevices of the reef. So we've got to bring them up to get the imagery we want. We collected hundreds of different species and we shoot thousands of fish. Turns out the biofluorescence is much more widespread than we initially thought it would be in fishes. A lot of the fluorescent fish tend to be very well camouflaged, but under fluorescent conditions, they really stand out. When you combine that with the fact that a lot of these fish have filters in their eyes that allow them to see the longer fluorescent wavelengths, that tells us they're using it for something. And that's really interesting to us because we think they're probably using it for communication in one way or another. Um, and that's kind of the, where we want to take this, this, this next. This is a phenomenon that we didn't know about even a few years ago. I think what it points out to me is if these reef communities keep getting devastated as much as they have been, you're going to lose this ability to study a phenomenon before you even know anything about it.